was the very first object that visited our vicinity in the solar system from outside the solar system. For billions of years, the cosmos has been mostly silent. But that silence was just shattered. An object named 3I Atlas, the third known visitor from interstellar space, has done something that has left NASA completely baffled. It released an energy burst, a clear structured signal that our most advanced technology cannot decode. It's something we've never seen before in solar system comets. Uh, but uh, these are icy rocks that are in our backyard. This isn't just a strange rock. It's an anomaly that, as physicist Michio Kaku might argue, challenges everything we know about our place in the universe. This object is breaking all the rules, and its mysterious message could be a greeting or a warning. The arrival of 3I Atlas. We begin to wonder what happens when the universe whispers something we're not ready to hear. There are these profound moments in physics where a single observation shatters everything we thought was solid. And right now, we're standing at the edge of one of those moments. A faint speck of light appeared against the cosmic backdrop, just another silent traveler. But not all things are what they seem. That seemingly insignificant pinpoint would evolve into something that challenges the very foundations of what we know. We call it 3I Atlas, marking it as the third visitor from beyond our solar neighborhood. Yet even that label feels almost naive now because what we're watching doesn't follow the script. It refuses to behave like any celestial wanderer in our extensive catalogs. The thing nobody tells you is just how fast this thing is moving. Imagine something tearing through space at 152,000 miles per hour. That's a speed that dwarfs nearly everything else in our cosmic backyard by a factor of five. A typical asteroid might cruise by at 30,000 miles per hour. But this is operating on an entirely different scale. And here's what really captures the imagination. When researchers rewound its path, they discovered something extraordinary. Atlas didn't originate from our asteroid belt or even the mysterious Oort cloud. No, this traveler emerged from the absolute darkness between the stars. A cosmic drifter that may have journeyed through the void for tens of thousands of years before quietly slipping into our domain. Initially, the scientific community remained cautiously intrigued. After all, we'd seen this before. Back in 2017, we encountered Oumuamua. Then in 2019, Borisov passed through. They were unusual, certainly, but perhaps Atlas was just another fragment from some distant system. So they observed and calculated its trajectory with precision. For months, Atlas remained an enigma, but a silent one. But then, in an instant that no one predicted, the story transformed completely. Radio telescopes scattered across our planet suddenly erupted with energy. You see, this wasn't mere interference. What came through was a deliberate focused signal so distinct it rippled across monitoring stations on opposite sides of our world. The universe, silent for so long, suddenly found its voice. Was this some strange atmospheric distortion, or could it be something far more profound? The honest answer is, we still don't know. But here's what haunts us. Atlas sent that signal once, piercing through the darkness. And if it happened once, what's stopping it from happening again? But the signal was just the beginning of a much deeper mystery. A machine in disguise. If the enigma ended there, it would already be the discovery of a lifetime. But 3i Atlas refuses to play by any rule book we've written. The anomalies stack up one after another. What many overlooked at first was its luminosity. When we study celestial bodies, we analyze how they reflect light. Natural space rocks are rough and irregular, appearing dull, but Atlas radiates brilliance. Its surface reflects light with an intensity that reminds scientists more of manufactured alloys than primordial stone. The Webb Space Telescope revealed that photons bounce off Atlas with a uniformity that suggests incredible smoothness, an almost engineered consistency. These are words we rarely apply to the chaotic remnants of nature. Then we encounter the rotation anomaly. Natural objects tumble through the void erratically, yet Atlas rotates with mathematical precision, maintaining specific orientations toward our observation points as if following some predetermined choreography. To put it mildly, this is bizarre. It behaves less like a tumbling fragment and more like a deliberately oriented mechanism. And then there's the thermal signature. When Webb's infrared sensors locked on, they didn't find the expected shifting patterns of heat and cold. Instead, one side maintained a persistently elevated temperature. 
This is only possible if 3i Atlas is producing heat from within, something no natural comet has ever done, or it's equipped with some form of thermal regulation system. The list of oddities just keeps growing. Spectroscopic analysis absolutely astounded researchers. Where we'd normally detect water vapor, Atlas releases carbon dioxide at levels 10 times higher than expected. But the metallic signatures are where things get truly strange. Nickel pours from this object in extraordinary quantities, while iron, which should be dominant, is virtually absent. This completely inverts every pattern we've documented. The carbon-based molecules we're detecting aren't primitive. They're intricate and organized, displaying a complexity we associate with either living systems or deliberate fabrication. Then we examine its internal architecture. Density measurements reveal that 3i Atlas isn't a solid rock. It contains voids, empty spaces, what appears to be layered construction. Hollow interiors simply don't happen in nature's random assembly process. A hollow, heat-regulating object is strange enough, but what it did next is even more terrifying. What they're hiding about Atlas. Here's where the mystery deepens into something that genuinely challenges our understanding. 3i Atlas is altering its trajectory, not through violent maneuvers, but through delicate, almost imperceptible adjustments. Tiny bursts of acceleration and microscopic course modifications that outgassing or solar radiation simply cannot account for. There's no visible exhaust, no plume of material, yet our most precise instruments confirm it beyond doubt. Its velocity changes, its heading adjusts, the thing is, the timing of these changes is what makes scientists lean forward in their chairs. These corrections happen predominantly when our Earth-based observatories have optimal viewing conditions. It's almost as if whatever is guiding this object understands our observation windows. Under normal circumstances, a discovery of this magnitude would trigger an explosion of scientific activity. But something very different happened this time. The response was silence. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory abruptly locked down access. Observation schedules disappeared. Data requests were flatly denied or returned so heavily redacted they became meaningless. The European Space Agency mirrored these actions. International research partnerships that had functioned smoothly for decades suddenly fractured. Freedom of Information Act requests produced documents so censored they were essentially blank pages, punctuated with vague references to national security concerns national security regarding a comet. Let that sink in. The timing of this information blackout raises every red flag. It coincided precisely with Webb's most troubling discoveries. The moment analysis began suggesting something artificial, the curtain dropped. This leaves us with two staggering possibilities about what is truly happening behind closed doors. Judgment Day Probe the silence from official channels is perhaps the most unnerving part of the entire affair. When faced with phenomena that rewrite cosmic rule books, the expected response from the global scientific community is a cacophony of debate, theory, and discovery. Instead, we are met with curated press releases of bewilderingly little substance and a wall of institutional quiet. This confronts us with two equally mind-bending and frankly terrifying possibilities. Perhaps government agencies and their esoteric scientific arms have uncovered something so paradigm-shifting, so utterly reality-shattering, that they've made the cold calculation that our civilization isn't psychologically prepared for the revelation. The alternative is almost worse. They're staring at data they cannot comprehend, phenomena that mock their most advanced models, and they're paralyzed by a profound existential fear. Neither scenario offers much reassurance for the rest of us left to stare at the heavens and wonder. This brings us to the staggering historical context. For the entirety of human history, we listened to the cosmos and heard nothing but the faint hiss of the Big Bang's afterglow. Our corner of the galaxy was, for all intents and purposes, ours alone. Then in the autumn of 2017, everything changed. Oumuamua arrived. It wasn't a comet, it wasn't an asteroid, it was a dark, reddish, elongated something tumbling through our solar system on a trajectory that could only have come from interstellar space. It displayed no cometary tail, no outgassing, yet it accelerated away from the sun as if pushed by an unseen engine. We had mere days to observe it before it vanished back into the void, leaving behind a wake of unanswerable questions. Two years later, Borisov appeared. At first, it seemed like an answer, a perfectly normal interstellar comet complete with a visible coma and tail. Astronomers breathed a sigh of relief. 
Borisov was the norm. It proved that objects from other star systems could and did visit. But this sense of security was a mirage. Borisov wasn't the answer, it was the control variable. It established a baseline, making Oumuamua's profound weirdness stand out in even starker relief. And now we have 3i Atlas. This third visitor makes the previous two look like mundane celestial mechanics. It carries the most perplexing characteristics of both, plus entirely new mysteries that are pushing astrophysicists to the brink. It possesses the reddish hue and trajectory of Oumuamua, but it also has a bizarre intermittent coma, a ghostly halo that appears and vanishes without warning. Spectrographic analysis of this coma has yielded elemental signatures that have no business being in a comet. More disturbingly, its trajectory has shown micro-adjustments, tiny course corrections that cannot be explained by gravitational influence or outgassing. It is behaving less like a rock and more like a probe actively scanning our system. Three confirmed interstellar objects in less than a decade after billions of years of cosmic silence. The statistical improbability is not just staggering, it's a mathematical absurdity. It's like a person who has never seen a single ship suddenly witnessing a canoe, then a freighter, then an aircraft carrier sail past their deserted island in the span of a week. You would be forced to conclude it was not a coincidence. This leads to a hypothesis, once relegated to the fringe, but now quietly circulating among certain emboldened researchers. These aren't random, naturally occurring fragments of distant star systems. They are artifacts. They are a reconnaissance mission. Imagine you are a member of an ancient, hyper-advanced civilization, one that has been monitoring the galaxy for eons. For thousands of years, humanity was a species of interest, but we were blind and deaf to the cosmos, trapped in our gravity well. But in the last century, we split the atom, reached our moon, and began flinging radio waves and sophisticated telescopes into space. From a galactic perspective, we went from inert biology to a technologically capable species overnight. We crossed a threshold. Our instruments are now finally sophisticated enough to spot you, should you choose to pass by. What an ideal moment to initiate a more direct evaluation. You don't send a warship or a formal diplomatic envoy. That would be too disruptive, too likely to trigger a primitive, fear-based response. Instead, you conduct a test. You send a series of objects calibrated to spark curiosity and challenge scientific dogma. First, Oumuamua, the inexplicable anomaly designed to see if we'd even notice something that broke all the rules. We did. Then Borisov, the control to reassure us of our models of the universe to test if we'd dismiss the first object as a one-off. We did that too. And now Atlas, the synthesis, an object so baffling it forces us to confront the possibility that the first two were a deliberate prelude. It's an examination not of our telescopes, but of our intellect, our scientific courage, and our capacity for wonder. One of the wildest yet most compelling theories attached to this idea is that the objects form a network. What if Oumuamua wasn't just a passive object, but a relay that dropped microscopic sensors as it passed, listening posts now scattered throughout our system? What if Atlas isn't just observing, but actively communicating with that dormant network, receiving data on our planetary responses, our communications, even our atmospheric composition? That strange intermittent coma might not be a geological process, but a cloud of data being broadcast. If this is true, then we are witnessing not just a flyby, but the first confirmed active surveillance by an extraterrestrial intelligence. The radio silence isn't in the cosmos, the silence is from them, as they quietly and patiently listen to everything. This is where we find ourselves, perched on the knife's edge of two dramatically different futures. 3i Atlas is the most unusual natural comet ever seen, an object that will single-handedly force a revolution in planetary science. But in the other, far more profound future, we are not alone, and the proof is currently sailing past Jupiter. That strange intermittent radio transmission picked up by a remote Australian observatory last year, the one that lasted only a few seconds and matched no known celestial phenomenon, what if that wasn't a distant natural event? What if it was a targeted local signal, an acknowledgement ping from the creators of 3i Atlas, letting them know their probe had successfully entered the target system? What if we're not the ones doing the observing? What if all along we've been the subjects of observation? 3i Atlas functions as a cosmic mirror, reflecting back a chilling and magnificent image of ourselves as a species under examination. 
As it continues its silent, purposeful journey through our home, our responsibility is clearer than ever. We must reject the placid, insufficient explanations. What do you think 3i Atlas truly is? A natural wonder or a message from an alien intelligence? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.